I am the movie man. Hello everyone, yes we're talking about the biggest film to come out this film season so far and probably one of the more anticipated films of the year and that is Oz the Great and Powerful. Telling us the story, or origin story of Oz, the one that we met in Wizard of Oz originally and this time around he's played by James Franco who plays Oz, a magician and con man who after running into some problems with the carnival that he works at, hops into a hot air balloon, takes a trip down a tornado hole involuntarily and ends up in the world of Oz where it's prophesied a man from afar, a wizard, will come and save the land from the Wicked Witch. And he plays along with being this wizard when he finds out there's fortune and glory, kid. Fortune and glory involved in uh, being the wizard. Now, do we see him actually con the inhabitants of the Oz realm, or does he actually have a change of heart? Well, you're going to have to watch the film to find out. Oz the Great and Powerful is a visually stunning film. Film. Uh, the sheer volume of special effects are just amazing, as you can tell from the trailer. But not only that, the tension to detail. They put fantastic amounts of detail. They just didn't throw up CGI. They really wanted to sell you this world, and sell you they do. While it is mostly CGI with few sets, it does make a nice companion piece and fit in well with The Wizard of Oz. They make everything fit nicely to where you can buy both films take place in the same world, while giving a little modern spill to the environments as well as the high def treatment. Oh, I just, I loved all the details they had in this movie. It was fantastic, all the little things going on. But not only that, just the story in general was a pleasant surprise. It's a decent origin story for some of the things that we loved in Wizard of Oz. You know, I... Uh, just they, they made it plausible and it's a nice companion piece. James Franco does great as Oz, but those that really stand out are the three female performances by uh, Mia Kunis, Rachel Weiss, and Michelle Williams. All of them do fantastic in this and I really liked their characters and their portrayals of the witches and the uh, good witch and bad witch of Oz. You know, uh, they're great performances as well. Everybody does great in this film. I, I was not disappointed by anybody's performance and it was a pleasant cameo being a Sam Raimi film where you get Bruce Camel as well as Ted Raimi in uh, for short roles in the film as well. Uh, you know, this is a great family film too. Now, the only problem I think I had with it was that it was a little long for maybe the entire family. I noticed the kids starting to shuffle in their seats. It weighs in just a little over two hours and I think they could have trimmed a little bit of it to make it a little more kid-friendly length. Folks, this could have been a cash grab quickly, but they did take time and care, and Sam Raimi definitely edited and paced this film to make it feel like one of the classic films that we've watched in the past. It's paced and edited almost exactly like Wizard of Oz, and in that I was pleasantly surprised as well. There's even a musical number in there, because, well, music, you got Danny Elfman, which, you know, is just a, a beautiful score to help complement the beautiful visuals that are in this movie. Folks, great Oz the Great and Powerful is worth your time and money, I think. You don't have to see it in the 3D, though it does add a bit to the uh, world of Oz, but it's definitely one that should be caught on the big screen, so you can see all the detail and the little things that they put in here, as well as just see a fantastic film that's made for the entire family. I gave it four stubs, but you don't have to take my word for it. I liked the Happy Munchkins. Oh, I liked how there was a lot of special effects, and I also liked pretty much all of Oz's tricks, and how he just managed to like pull random stuff out of his shirt, just like a magician. Oh, yeah, I also liked how, how like greedy Oz is. He's like always oh, acting greedy, yet the problem is he's honest about it sometimes. <laughs> kind of. I rate it five stubs because it's a great and powerful film. And that'll do it for this edition of The Final Cut. As always, folks, until next time, keep that ticket stub.